And next I want to bring up one of the voices that this government has decided to target, not because he's doing the wrong thing, but because he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Chairman Omala Yesha Taylor of the African People's Socialist Party. Yeah. The hands off the Hulu campaign. said, my name is Omali Ishatella. I'm chairman of the African People's Socialist Party and chairman of the Black is Back Coalition for Social Justice, Peace, and Reparations. Yeah. On July 29th, at five o'clock in the morning, pre-dawn, the an army of assault weapons toting, camouflage wearing, military forces identifying themselves as the FBI attacked my home. They, they used flashbang grenades, armored vehicles. They threatened my life and threatened my wife. They used drones. This was in St. Louis, Missouri the most economically depressed sector of that city. At the same time, on the white side of St. Louis, they attacked a movement, solidarity movement, and they used battering rams also there, knocked down doors. They held people hostage, handcuffed at gunpoint, as they did me and my wife. Who they, whom they handcuffed and zip-tied in front of our homes. They declared that despite the fact that I have been involved in fighting this system for most of the 81 years that I have been alive, this, this, despite the fact that I have opposed every predatory war that the United States, which, by the way, is the strategic enemy of all of humanity, despite the fact that I have always done that, that they have declared that black people are so stupid that it takes Russians to tell us that we are oppressed. I have never known a moment of black freedom for my entire life. I have never read of a moment since the beginning of a colonial mode of production where black people have been free. And yet they're saying that we are working we are agents of some foreign power because we say black people must be free. Because we say Africa must be free. Because we say African people everywhere must be free. And we are here today to tell them that they don't have enough flashbang grenades in their arsenals to stop this struggle of black people and the oppressed peoples of the world to win our freedom. Yeah. I, I understand that this particular mobilization is opposed to racism yeah. and opposed to bigotry. Yeah. We say right on. But what we need you to be opposed to is colonialism. Yeah. Colonialism. Yeah. Because that is what victimizes African people here and most people around the world. Yeah. It is the colonial mode of production yeah. that this government is attempting to protect. And they were doing so when they attacked my home, pre-dawn, threatened my wife, and also made four of us, of my party, and the solidarity movement that I lead, unindicted co-conspirators. So they intend to indict us. But our responsibility is to put them on trial. We don't run. We don't cower. We fight back. We fight like hell. We fight back. They have charged me with the very same thing that they charged W.E.B. Du Bois with in 1951. They charged people like Paul Robeson with the very same thing. And we know that the FBI cut his teeth 
in the war against Marcus Garvey and the Universal African Universal uh, Af Negro Improvement Association. So this is where it gets its origin. This is what it's about. But we are not about yet to fold. I'm calling on you, everybody here, to stand up against colonialism. Yes! I'm calling on you, in this very brief moment, go to Hands Off Uhuru. Dot org. Yeah. That's U H U R U. And I'm calling on you to recognize that where we are standing now is a war crime. That America itself yes. is a war crime. Yes. It couldn't exist without what it has done to the indigenous people here. Yes. And when I say indigenous people, I'm talking about the people who live in these concentration camps that they characterize as Indian reservations. Yeah. I'm talking about the people who live in the concentration camps that are recognized as barrios and ghettos throughout this country. I'm talking about people who live in the concentration camps that they protect with walls and other things like that to keep the indigenous people to coming back to this land to recapture what has been stolen from us. So I want to thank you very much. And I want you to recognize that African people here and most of the world, we happy that you're against racism, but frankly, it doesn't matter because we're not struggling to make anybody like us. We are struggling for power over our own lives. We, because once we get power, it doesn't matter whether you like us or not. They don't like Chinese either. Yeah. But they got to throw out this old saying that they used to have, you don't have a Chinaman's chance. Because China has more chance than all of us. Woo! So the thing is that we are preparing to govern because we cannot be a dignified, self-respecting people until we are able to feed, clothe, and house ourselves. And that is our mission. And that is why we built economic development programs throughout this country. And that is why we are being under attack because everything that we build for our own selves and negates the power of the colonizer. And that is why they're attacking us. So I'm saying, come to St. Louis. Take a look for yourself. See how we've transformed the entire African community there. Come to St. Petersburg, Florida. Take a look for yourselves and see what we've done to transform that. And I want to thank you so much for being here. Hands off Uhuru. Hands off Africa. <laughs>